Today, we say goodbye to a few legendary stars whose impact on the world of music, film, and entertainment will never be forgotten. Their incredible contributions and unforgettable performances have left a lasting imprint on all of us. As we reflect on their remarkable lives, join us in celebrating their legacy. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay connected as we continue to honor those who have shaped our world. Chris Searle was a British TV presenter, reporter, and actor, born on July 13, 1943. He first appeared in 1971 alongside Irish comedian Dave Allen on Dave Allen at Large. Searle became more widely recognized in the UK as one of the presenters of That's Life. During the 1980s, Searle hosted Windmill, a show featuring themed clips from the BBC archives. He also presented Points of View, The Computer Program, and Monkey Business. On radio, he regularly hosted Pick of the Week from 1981 to 1988 and continued as a guest presenter until 2006. Additionally, he hosted the BBC series Greek Language and People with Katia Dandulaki. In 2005, he became honorary president of the Bristol Hospital Broadcasting Service, a charity that provides radio services to hospitals in Bristol. Searle also appeared on the BBC game show The Adventure Game in 1984 and hosted the afternoon show on BBC Radio Bristol for several years. On September 23, 2024, it was announced that Searle had passed away at the age of 81. No cause of death was revealed. Catherine Crosby was an American actress and singer, also known by her stage names Catherine Grant and Catherine Grandstaff. She was born on November 25, 1933, and began her film career in 1953. Some of her well-known roles include Princess Parisa in The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, 1958, and a part in Anatomy of a Murder, 1959. She also starred in Operation Mad Ball, 1957, with Jack Lemmon, Mr. Corey, 1957, with Tony Curtis, and played a trapeze artist in The Big Circus, 1959. Catherine also appeared alongside her family in Goldilocks. By the 1960s, she mostly retired from acting. She made a guest appearance on her husband's sitcom The Bing Crosby Show in 1964-1965. In the mid-1970s, she hosted her own local talk show, The Catherine Crosby Show, on KPIX-TV in San Francisco. Catherine Crosby died on September 20th, 2024, at the age of 90 and was buried at sea. Benny Golson was an American jazz tenor saxophonist, composer, and arranger known for his contributions to bebop and hard bop. Born on January 25, 1929, he first gained attention working with the big bands of Lionel Hampton and Dizzy Gillespie, mainly as a composer. Golson later launched a solo career and co-founded the influential group The Jazz Tet with trumpeter Art Farmer in 1959. During the late 1960s and 1970s, Golson focused more on arranging music for films and TV, which reduced his performance activity. However, he and Farmer reunited the Jazz Tet in 1982. Golson composed several jazz classics, including I Remember Clifford, Blues March, Stablemates, Whisper Not, Along Came Betty, and Killer Joe. He is considered a key figure in the development of hard bop and was honored with a Grammy Trustees Award in 2021. Benny Golson passed away at his home in Manhattan on September 21, 2024, at the age of 95.